Transport in Djibouti is overseen by the Ministry of Infrastructure and Transport. Over the last years, the government of Djibouti have significantly increased funding for rail and road construction to build an infrastructure. They include highways, airports and seaports, in addition to various forms of public and private vehicular, maritime and aerial transportation. The country's first railway, Ethiopia-Djibouti Railway, was a meter-gauge railway that connected Ethiopia to Djibouti. It was built between 1894 and 1917 by the French who ruled the country at the time as French Somaliland. The railway is no longer operational. Currently, Djibouti has 93 kilometers of railways. The new Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway, an electrified standard gauge railway built by two Chinese government firms, began regular operations in January 2018. Its main purpose is to facilitate freight services between the Ethiopian hinterland and the Djibouti and port of Dorale. Railway services are provided by the Ethio Djibouti Standard Gauge Rail Transport Share Company, a binational company between Ethiopia and Djibouti, which operates all commuter and freight railway services in the country. Djibouti has a total of four railway stations, of which three can handle passenger traffic. Map of Djibouti Highways and Railway System The Djibouti and Highway System is named according to the road classification. One routes in the Trans-African Highway Network originate in Djibouti City. Djibouti also has multiple highway links with Ethiopia. Roads that are considered primary roads are those that are fully asphalted and in general they connect all the major towns in Djibouti. There is a total of 3,065 kilometers of roads, with 1,379 kilometers paved and 1,686 kilometers unpaved, according to a 2000 estimate. The Port of Djibouti. Djibouti has an improved natural harbor known as the Port of Djibouti. 95% of Ethiopia's imports and exports move through Djibouti imports. For decades, the port of Djibouti was Djibouti's only freight port. It is now in the process of being replaced by the port of Dorale west of Djibouti city. In addition to the port of Dorale, which handles general cargo and oil imports, Djibouti currently has three other major ports for the import and export of bulk goods and livestock. The port of Tajura, the Damarjog port and the port of Gubet. Djibouti had one ship of over 1,000 GT, 1,369 GT-3,030 tons dead weight according to a 1999 estimate. An Ilyushin Il-18 aircraft and ferrying bus on the Djibouti Mbuli International Airport runway. Djibouti has 13 airports, of which three have paved runways. Djibouti Mbuli International Airport, just outside the city of Djibouti, is the country's international airport. There are also domestic airports at Tajura and Obok. Beginning in 1963, the state-owned Air Djibouti also provided domestic service to various domestic centers and flew to many overseas destinations. The national carrier discontinued operations in 2002. Dallo Airlines, a Somali-owned private carrier, has also offered air transportation since its foundation in 1991. With its hub at the Djibouti Mbuli International Airport, the airline provides flights to a number of domestic and overseas destinations. Total 3 over 3,047 meters, 1 1,524 to 3,047 meters, 2 total, 10 1,524 to 2,437 meters, 1 914 to 1,523 meters, 7 under 914 meters, 2. Thanks for watching.